Vampire, 1932, directed by Carl Theodore Dreyer, starring Julian West, Maurice Schutz, and Rena Mandel. A student interested in the supernatural arrives in a small village in France. Unknown to him, the village is under the demonic influence of a vampire. This film is unbelievably nightmarish. Nothing is done to differentiate fantasy from reality, which makes the film somewhat disorienting. The visuals Dreyer employed are very surreal, with disembodied shadows walking, dancing, and even committing murder. The film was shot on location in the small village of Cortempierre, with the majority of the cast consisting of locals. The plot is fairly standard as far as vampire films are concerned, which makes the plot easier to digest. The script is based on a collection of short stories by Sheridan La Fanu called In a Glass Darkly, with the vampire story featured in it going on to influence none other than Bram Stoker himself for his novel Dracula. Interestingly enough, this is the first feature-length film with a female vampire, coming out a year after the iconic Dracula, but being in production before its release. This is also the second talkie featuring a vampire, although Dreyer used dialogue sparingly and used title cards to tell the story. Also dubbed in English, but edited and released in the US as Castle of Doom. Currently out of production, though after skimming through clips of it on YouTube, it's probably for the best. Verdict? Recommended. A fascinatingly under-the-radar horror film that deserves a look. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.